the path to being data driven is never straightforward and it's going to be quite iterative um, as we go there. First, I think it's really about kind of people and uh, culture, getting the right people organised in the right um, way with the right skills in partnership um, with our teams to make the most of our data and our technology. I think we can all understand the benefits of being data driven. For me and for us at Direct Line, it's um, firstly key that we kind of get the uh, people right, getting that mix of skills and talents aligned and uh, working, partnering with, with the right people um, to be able to drive the, the insights um, that we need. The second piece then is technology alone can't really do it. Um, we put all the technology in, but we've really got to go and um, exploit that. And I think when you get the right mix of technology with people and with culture, then you can really start to kind of drive um, the outcomes that you want. As we kind of move towards this sort of data-driven vision, you know, I've got, I suppose, three principles that are kind of driving me. One, we need to go at speed. Two, we need to be efficient and cost-effective. And three, I need to be quite low risk in how we transition through that. And for me, working with EXL is really about giving us confidence and the ability um, on all of those um, all of those fronts. There's a lot to get through and it's great to have a partner that can actually, one, show you the vision, share in that vision, have the enthusiasm and have the ability to deliver on those three fronts at the same time. So as we go on this journey, we're looking at our end-to-end -end process optimization, and it is in that that it's going to be value additive to the entire organisation. So we'll be looking to really exploit our technology, really use the data that we are getting from our work on IFRS 17, and use that to add value, to provide insight back to the business uh, on a more real-time basis.